Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Simply Scripture. Today, I'm going to be reading from the New King James Translation. And in this video, I'm going to be reading the book of Job, chapter 34. Um, before I get started, I just want to say a little prayer. Uh, dear God, I come to you today. I just want to thank you for everything that you do. Lord, I just pray that you just help me today, Lord. Help me to be a more godly servant, Lord. Help me to shine your light. Lord, I just pray that your will be done today. We love you and thank you for all that you do. Please give us wisdom and discernment today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Alrighty. Job chapter 34. Elihu further answered and said, Hear my words, you wise man. Give ear to me, you who have knowledge. For the ear tests words as the palate tastes food. Let us choose justice for ourselves. Let us know among ourselves what is good. For Job has said, I am righteous but God has taken away my justice. Should I lie concerning my right? My wound is incurable, though I am without transgression. What man is like Job, who drinks scorn like water, who goes in company with, with the workers of iniquity and walks with wicked men? For he has said, if, if it profits a man nothing that he should delight in God. Therefore, therefore listen to me, you men of understanding. Far be it from God to do wickedness and from the Almighty to commit iniquity. For he repays man according to his work and makes man to find a reward according to his way. Surely God will never do wickedly, nor will the Almighty pervert justice. Who gave him charge over the earth, or who appointed him over the whole world? If he should set his heart on it, if he should gather to himself his spirit and his breath, all flesh would perish together and man would return to dust. If you have understanding, hear this. Listen to the sound of my words. Should one who hates justice govern, will you condemn him who is most just? Is it fitting to say to a king, you are worthless, and to nobles, you are wicked? Yet he is not partial to princes nor does he regard the rich more than the poor. For they are all the work of his hands. In a moment they die in the middle of the night. The people are shaken and pass away. The mighty are taken away without a hand. For his eyes are always on the ways of man, and he sees all his steps. There is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. For he need not further consider a man that he should go before God in judgment. He breaks in pieces mighty men without inquiry and sets others in their place. Therefore he knows their works. He overthrows them in the night and they are crushed. He strikes them as wicked men in the open sight of others because they turned back from him and would not consider any of his ways so that they caused, caused the cry of the poor to come to him for he hears the cries of the afflicted when he gives quietness who then can make trouble and when he hides his face who then can see him whether it is against a nation or a man alone, that the hypocrite should not reign, lest the people be ensnared. For has anyone said to God, 
I have borne chastening. I will offend no more. Teach me what I, what I do not see. If I have done iniquity, I will do no more. Should he repay it according, according to your terms, just because you disavow it, you must choose and not I. Therefore, speak what you know. Men of understanding say to me, wise men who listen to me, Job speaks without knowledge. His words are without wisdom. Oh, that Job were tried to the utmost, because his answers are like those of wicked men. For he adds rebellion to his sin. He claps his hands among us and multiplies his words against God.